Hello, thank you for tuning in to another video. This week's video is going to be on the 2024 National Market Survey, which was released by Royal LePage. So this is a report that Royal LePage releases annually, basically giving their predictions for the next year in real estate and what home prices are going to do, what's gonna happen with volume, what's gonna happen in different markets, etc. So this is a survey that's conducted across nine major markets in Canada from the east to the west coast. Um, obviously not including the Bay of Quinney, Prince Edward regions, but our closest neighbor is Toronto. Um, and the Toronto predictions are pretty much in line with Canada. Uh, so we'll go a little bit through what the report says, what the predictions are from Royal Page, and my thoughts on this report for 2024 price forecast. Okay, so let's go over the report here again on my new favorite thing, Loom. So the report is titled, Modest interest rate cuts expected to spur activity next year, leading to a rise in property prices. National aggregate home price forecast to increase 5.5% year over year in Q4 of 2024. So comparing Q4 of 2024 to Q4 of 2023, which we are in right now. Report goes on to say basically a, a bunch of unprecedented ups and downs in the housing market, rock bottom interest rates, you know, spurred all this activity. Then Phil Soper goes on to say that we believe that the great adjustment to tolerable mid single digit borrowing costs, basically that Canadians are adjusted to these to these mid single digit borrowing costs and a 5% rate, a, a 4 to 6% rate is going to be the norm going forward. So, you know, people have those ultra low interest rates out of their head. Um, Again, with the stating the 5.5%, they go on to say that detached property will increase 6% and condos 5%. Keep in mind, this is this is Canadian wide. Um, I would argue that detached has a, a higher ceiling there. Like it could it could increase more up, up to 10% year over year and condos could increase less than 5% for sure. Um, and there's been a lot of reports out about this, like especially in the Toronto market, it's like, most condos for sale are either tenant occupied or vacant. Plus there's people coming, closing on these pre-construction projects that, you know, they're not appraising and they're not worth what they paid for. Um, assignment market is, is, you know, busy, busy, meaning a lot of inventory coming to the assignment market. So I, I would say there's an argument that condos could not see a 5% increase um, and detached could have stronger gains than that. Um, and then basically there's a, there's a forecast chart here. So they're increasing or they're expecting year over year increases in every quarter and quarter over quarter increases in every quarter, meaning that basically they're saying this is the bottom and prices aren't going to go down. They're going to go up every quarter um, and you're going to see growth quarter over quarter every year. So there's a quick overview of the report. Um, my thoughts on this, they're, they're pretty on the ball. Uh, the only argument I would make would be the detached versus condos. I think, like I said, detached maybe has a little more room to grow. Condos, maybe not so much if things continue the way they are. Um, but I mean, they're, like the market is pricing in a rate cut for next year and, and rates not to increase anymore and, and really not to stay at the elevated levels they are. People tend to think, you know, professionals and people in the industry think Bank of Canada has done their job. You know, they've curbed the housing market, sales volume is way down, you know, consumer sentiment's down. Um, Royal LePage seems really bullish, right? They think this is potentially the bottom. Things aren't going to decrease because they're expecting quarter over quarter growth. Um, I don't know. I think if you see if you see elevate, elevated interest rates still in, in another pause, you, you could see kind of level growth over the first quarter and then see things really take off in the spring once consumer sentiment comes back. Um, but it's, it's all dependent on rates, right? Like real estate is likely not going to get cheaper to own. So if rates decrease, prices will likely increase, especially with rents continuing to be on the rise. Like last month, they're 8% year over year increases or something. Um, so there's my thoughts. Um, thank you again for watching the video. As always, if you have any questions, contact me. All my details are below. You can contact me on my website, kehoerealestate.com. Thank you for watching and new video next week.